Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to another video regarding 5 pro rounds you definitely should have seen as a CSGO esports fan. Last time I had to pick 5 rounds out of so many pro rounds who all deserve to be mentioned in the final video and you guys suggested a lot of rounds in the comments as well, so I thought I have to make another video on this topic. Simple as that, so lean back guys and let's go. The Sivo Professional Season Finals 2015 Team Liquid vs Conquest The first round I want to talk about in this video is the first round of the second overtime between Team Liquid and Conquest. Both teams were battling it out in the Group B losers match to stay in the tournament. At this point Team Conquest was in the lead as they had won the previous map with 16 to 11. So Team Liquid had to win Cobblestone to obtain their chance of winning the series on the third map. In round 37 in total, Conquest was about to hit the B bomb site, hence they decided that four terrorists should take over the dropper position. Fugly, however, was prepared for such a move by Conquest, and he was able to take down all four terrorists with a huge spray down with his M4A4. So there was just Shazam left on the Conquest side in a 1 vs 5 situation, and the round seemed to be over pretty much. But not for Shazam, because he went on and literally denied Fugly the ace and clutched it versus 5 CTs which was incredibly played by him. That one versus two. What the heck was that, Fugly? It's a 4K. He just needs one more for the ace, misses the opportunity, Shazam. Time, take you low, gonna grab the bomb. They're just gonna try and wait it out. They're gonna try and take him. Uh, he's gonna do the sound fake first, fires off an off shot. Now he's gonna go to safety. Gonna put the bomb down. Now they know for a fact. He hits the first shot. He could be able to get this. He's got himself 4K. Doesn't get nice. the ace. He got the ace clutch. Shazam is done him. Look at him. Ace clutch for Shazam. What a beautiful play comes out. The Star Letter Series Season 9, 2014. Ninjas in Pyjamas vs. Alternate Attacks. The next round is a pretty funny one. NIP had to face off the German team Alternate on DE Inferno. NIP who started on the CT side had a really strong half and won 13 out of 15 rounds. And they were classified to be the clear favorites in this matchup, so it seemed that the match already found a winner at a 13-2 halftime score. So coming into the pistol round of the second half, the Swedish side seemed to be in a good mood and so they all decided to buy the dual Berettas and just crouch walk all over to B side without even standing up once. This was a hilarious moment and I really like this caster reaction in particular. <laughs> it is really uncommon to see pro players trolling in an official match, hence it deserves a spot in this video. ESL1 Cologne 2014 Team Dignitas vs Cloud9 The next round I want to mention is round number 28 in the Group D winners match at ESL1 Cologne 2014. It was a huge and intensive match and in the final rounds of the game, Cloud9 had to step it up to come back, since Dignitas was leading at a score of 13 to 10. Cloud9 managed to even the score to 13 to 13 and the game came to its final rounds. Round 28 had a similar outcome as the round between Conquest and Team Liquid mentioned earlier in this video. Dupree from Dignitas pulls off a huge play by pushing through his smoke and just takes down 3 Cloud9 players and so the round looked really bad for the Americans in a 2 vs 4 after plan situation. But the clutch master Hiko was still alive and so he went on to turn around the situation. By taking out 2 players from Dignitas, Hiko told Sean Gers to defuse the bomb and Hiko actually managed to defend him while defusing and so they won the round which was absolutely insane. And that invented the well-known Enders, Hiko are you kidding me quote. Dreamhack Malmö 2016 The quarterfinal between Mouse Sports and Godsend. In the first matchup of this best of 3 series, Mouse Sports started really confident into DE Cash and so they won the first 5 rounds of the game. In the 6th round, Godsend decided to push the A bomb site and it went really well for them. They opened the bomb site and they just had to get the bomb planted because the time was ticking in favor for mouse boards. The first attempt to plant the bomb was denied by Chris J, who had thrown a Molotov on the bomb planting spot and which killed Twist. So Team Godsend still had to plant the bomb and only 10 seconds were left. 
Lecro from the Swedish team then picked up the bomb, went on to plant it in the same default corner of the bomb site, and unfortunately Speedy from Mouseboards just throws in another Molotov, which denied another bomb plant and so the time ran out which secured Mouseboards a 6-0 lead. DreamHack London 2015 The Grand Final between Team Envious and Team Solo Mid. So guys, for the last round I want to mention a round which I'm sure the majority of you have already seen. In the Grand Final of DreamHack London 2015, Envious just won the first map which was DE Dust 2 and so TSM had to win the second game on DE Inferno to stay in the Grand Finals. However, round number 18 on Inferno started with a weak force buy on the Envious side and went down in CS history in the end. TSM who was about to commit to the B bomb site had to deal with Happy and his Desert Eagle and Happy actually managed to get the ace which was just unbelievable in the way how he did it. The casters went insane which makes this round even more special and the crowd was also astonished. Happy! He can get another one here too, Dupree! Dupree is like sweating bullets! Happy to get the quad kill the ace! What is this? <laughs> I think I just broke my chair, I might need a new one. <laughs>